Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. 3.0 is finally out in Genshin Impact, and that means a lot of new quests to do. And I recently did Tainari's quest over on my Twitch stream. But I'm gonna be honest, the last few story quests for characters have been okay, but this one was just so good. And as the title says to this video, it honestly broke my heart. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what you thought about Tainari's quest and if you ended up pulling for him. But anyways, enjoy the video. Traveler, you've come at a good time. Okay. Oh, I can do commissions hey, now. This sounds like another commission. Sick. <laughs> Let's go. It is as you say. The commission this time around is of high importance. It pertains to the safety of the Avidia Forest's inhabitants. Avidia Forest inhabitants. Huh? What happened? Not long ago, we received word that a section of the Avidia Forest seems to have become contaminated okay contaminated you mean a new withering zone i don't know about the specifics graphics card for that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region the avidia forest this has been the most insane home so month of my life so if we thank allow you this contaminated region to expand the consequences could be unimaginable okay that's why i want to ask you to invest you're trying to make fun of me still having 1060 1060 is a good Even card all you can Hello? do to stop the contamination from spreading this is forest business hmm. maybe tainari will know something let's go find him is this his quest now aha it is okay so now we've started the quest for him all right let's start it this is where you've been tainari Keep your voice down. Tainari, everything's spinning. Am I going to die? <laughs> Tell mom that I should have listened to her. What a dramatic little kid, but I also feel very sad. And tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Tainari, I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. Is this kid about to die in front of us? What happened? Tainari, is he? Dude, this kid's voice acting is like on point. It is so good. Okay, okay, enough nonsense. <laughs> you just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Good guy, Tainari. Really? Then can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? I'm not. No can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Dude, Tainari is like a father figure, chat. I love that. Oh. Hey. Let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different Aww. from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. Could it be? The contaminated region. Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so, got it? Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. All right. Poor kid. At least he's not going to die, though. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but I only said that to comfort him. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, he said, I only told him that to comfort him, but your son, he is going to die. A vicious death. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. <laughs> they seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called Vasanti grass can help soothe the mind. Okay, we just have to go collect them. in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. 
All right, that's easy. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidia Forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. Great. I'll ask the caravans. Go find Kale, have her prepare medicinal tools, and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. Contaminated region, huh? We can't find them. We have to buy Is them. Is that why you two are also here? Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidya forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. Can I just say Tainari's voice actor, like, does a, such a great job. His voice is so cute. I feel the same way. All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask right. about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Let's go do it, baby. Excuse me. I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Okay, well, open up. Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. They were mechanical mm -hmm. parts that we got from the academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. Dang. All the merchants talked it over and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Dang, Dainari! Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Mm -hmm. Anyone who goes in experiences... Is Tainari like a Karen? Like, yeah, but you should still be open because you're punishing your customers for not being open. I'd like to speak to the manager. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts. How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That's a good question. That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many... Uh, there weren't any people. No people? He gets so, he got so mad, dude. Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. Huh? What the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? A crab? Think of the hydrate. Welcome in, everybody. Is it that crab? Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It okay. came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. Are we sure it's a crab? We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. Mm -hmm. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course. Uh, not only Dude, that. Dude, just like, yeah, let's just go do it. Whatever. Caravans VIPs on all future purchases of any. Enough. Tell me something that's actually <laughs> useful. Any leads on the mechanical <laughs> crab? Wait. <laughs> Did you just hear him? His face went. All right, shut up. Just tell me something useful. Stop wasting my time. I am loving Tainari even more now. Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right, we'll go and have a word. Let's go do. Let's go do it. He doesn't care. Oh my god, I love it. If I hadn't pulled for Tainari, this quest already would probably have me pull for him. All right, we gotta go gather information. Caden, what did you I see? I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. Mm -hmm. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. But have you seen the crab? You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. Mm -hmm. However, 
We did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest. Okay. So instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll what? Have to move fast if you want those goods back. That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. What? Didn't the academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? I, this it's, it's, rough. it cannot be a mechanical crab. It can't be. Let's After see. the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. I want to know what this crab looks like. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. Uh -huh. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. A caravan carrying a large amount of more had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Wait, so it doesn't care about Mora or anything, just mechanical things. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. Okay, this is getting more and more confusing. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. I love his ears, dude. His ears are so cute. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things. Right. Or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. That's what I... It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Right. It's really weird. So you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Bet, we're gonna take that. Oh, and your wallet, too. Are you planning- Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Hmm. Okay. Well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. Damn, bro. There's some things you don't have to say out loud, Tainari. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. <laughs> I don't want anything in return, but... I'm keeping this bag and your wallet. We'll too. also need to borrow a Sumter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh yeah, no problem at all. If Wait, do we get to write that thing? Back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> okay, buy me a drink first. I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, we'll use the mechanical components and Sumter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Okay. Don't worry. We're professional. We got this. I've done harder things. Dorian's are furry. I'm not a furry. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current Hello? perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. I'm not a furry. Can a man not like another man or woman with animal features? That does sound like I'm a furry. I, there's no way of putting that. Capture that criminal crab. Criminal crab? Is that what we're calling okay. them now? We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. That. The Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. What should we name the Sumter Beast? I'm thinking Henry, maybe, is a good name. <gasps> oh my god, he's so cute. Let's keep up with it. Can I ride him? Go! Oh, <laughs> dang it! I thought you could. That would have been awesome if you could. Huh? Alfred, feed him. Hmm. Looks like it's loafing around, or maybe it's hungry. The caravaners. All right. Hold on. Hey! Oh, he's running! Hold on, let me grab this flower. Real quick. I need that. Come on, let's keep going, Alfred. Can I ride him? Hey, yo! What? 
Oh my god. I, I was not sussy. It's an actual mechanical crab? I, chat, I didn't think it was actually going to be one. Uh, did you hear something? Appa? That's a good name, too. Ah! Is that the mechanical it crab actually the is one. Was talking about? It's charging straight at us! It looks strong. Be careful. Okay, I'm gonna murder him in these streets. By royal decree. You at? Stop it. There we go, baby. I hate that they can block everything, dude. That was a big ass crab. But someone has to be controlling it, right? And that's the Tainari quest. <laughs> Kulilu. Hey, playing dumb won't save you. Spill it. Why are you stealing so many mechanical parts? It doesn't seem to understand us, Pyron. Hmm. It doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. Okay. Is it gonna start talking to us? <sighs> I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? He's kind of cute. He's kind of cute. Oh, he looks sad. You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. Wait, does he understand what you're saying? He's like a dog. He's so cute. It reacted. Does it understand us? Hmm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Oh, that's true. Okay, so you want the crowd to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The <laughs> contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. But if we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. Interesting. I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. I get it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. That is key. Good dog crab. Hello, I world welcome. I some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. Okay, I like his design too. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. Yeah. We'll be back <laughs> soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. This Understood? is we're dog training. We are literally dog crab robot training right now. Stay. We're literally teaching us to stay. Does that count as understanding us? I'm not sure, but our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Vasanti grass to it's make It's actually medicine. so cute. I know. We're training the robot crab dog. We should return. But before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. True. A shot collar. Oh! Oh! These are the mechanical parts that were stolen! Yeah! You really got them back for us! Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait, didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass? Yes. That was my whole don't plan. Don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How Let's many go. do you need? Two is enough. Bro, we're getting them for free. Let's get a little bit more. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. Okay. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, uh, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. But those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass, I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. Okay. Oh, and before we go, just a reminder, the forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. True. Take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's we return got to the you. Village. 
The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. All right. Oh, hi there, Traveler and Paimon. Master, I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? No need. A precise dosage is required this time, so I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me very approachable. <laughs> I don't think anybody finds you approachable, Dainari. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. Will we be pulling for Sino? Yes. How is he? Doing any better? <sighs> I feel like he's doing a lot better. And his temperature is returning to normal. All right. That's Mission right, accomplished Erica. then. Oh, yeah. He asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier. And he told her everything about the toy. Suna didn't get mad. So he wanted to thank you. Uh, can I ask what happened? Tainari was a good father. That's what. It's nothing. Did you prepare the traveling gear I asked you to? Of course I did. Are you going somewhere far away? Yes. We're going to the contaminated region. Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. Overnight? Okay. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. Huh? But I, uh, I can't even begin to compare to you. Many things are learned by doing. And once they've been done, you'll realize they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were. Deal with problems as you yourself see fit. You don't have to emulate me. That's right. You'll do great, Kale. Yeah, All believe right, in yourself. Then I'll do my best. Master, She's so traveler, cute, dude. Paimon, take care of yourselves. Don't worry. You'll be all right. You'll understand the reason for this excursion once we arrive at the contaminated region. All right. You put too much confidence in me. Anyway, like you said, things will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. That cr Why does he say like crab? It should be... Huh? Where's the crab? Did it secretly scuttle away? Huh. <sighs> The traps weren't triggered, so it should still be here. It's odd. There's Eugene, dude. He was a good boy. He's hanging out. Look at him. Honored our agreement welcome and waited here until we returned. As such, I'll hold up my end and give you another mechanical part. Keep it safe. I'm not giving you another one if you lose it. I love the way he talks to him like that. Glad you're satisfied. If you want more mechanical parts, take us deeper into the contaminated region. Hmm. I want to see what happened there. What Can we get like a leash for him? To become like this? So this is the contaminated region that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it definitely looks different from normal. We were here earlier. It's like really creepy and suffocating. Do you feel unwell at all? Uh, I'm doing fine so Good. far. It's as I predicted. Elemental power confers a degree of resistance against the contaminated region's influence. How do you know that? I haven't entered the contaminated region for a proper investigation, but I've conducted quite a few controlled experiments. My observations during our time here have all but confirmed my hypothesis. Look at these flowers. How are they different from normal? Hmm. Uh, they're more colorful. This flower species is formally known as the Sumeru Rose, mm -hmm. but it is also known as the Ley Line Lodestar. They're sensitive to ley lines and emit varying amounts of light in response. Excessive brightness indicates a dangerous level of ley line activity in the surrounding area. From mm -hmm. the looks of things, the ley lines around here are already out of control. You're saying the contamination here is coming from ley lines? I can't confirm that right now. But I think that is the case. Well, that's not good. Let's take another look around and see if we can discover more clues. All right. Let's go find more clues then. You know, we haven't seen any animals this entire time. The birds used to chirp It doesn't really look contaminated. Badly, and there were a lot of foxes. This contaminated region currently appears to have a critical efflux of ley line energy, which is probably the root cause of the patient's cognitive disturbances. Hmm. Some animals have keen awareness. They sensed something abnormal in this area and fled. Leaky ley lines sure can cause a lot of damage, huh? Like how plants have preferred growth conditions, we also gradually yeah, habituate voice is so to soft. our surrounding environment. Climate, 
temperature, humidity, intensity of ley line energies, when people live under fixed conditions, they reach a sort of homeostasis with their environment. This equilibrium is broken when the surrounding environment abruptly changes, causing people's bodies to react in abnormal ways. Mm -hmm. If normal fluctuations in temperature occur, then our bodies automatically adjust. However, the average person cannot adapt to changes in ley line energy, and so they fall ill. I see. Why are we okay? I mean, we, we're like, we're different, that's why. I'm not sure why you are, but he and I are fine because our elemental capabilities allow us to adapt to this kind right. of change. Of course, it's not a good idea to spend too much time in areas with concentrated ley line energy. The only one who can freely traverse this place is probably the mechanical crab. Oh, he's so cute. Eugene, we love you. That's about it for the investigation. Help me find an open space. I want to test something. Environment, no wind. Target parameters, normal. Setup complete. Excellent. Looks like it's working. What the hell is this thing? What's this? Paimon, you and I are asking the same question. A purification device that I made. It oh, can okay. absorb excess ley line energy and temporarily stabilize an area. What a neat thing! Let's set up more and cover the entire region! I don't think that's possible. I wouldn't mind if that would actually work. Unfortunately, once this contamination is present, it isn't something that a few purification devices can fix. The purification devices have their limits. At best, they can only prevent the contaminated region from expanding temporarily. If we want to permanently eradicate the contamination from the ley line effluence, okay. we'll need to tackle the source. At the heart of the contaminated region. That's right. Okay. We just have to follow the Eugene. Oh, he's scared. Huh? He's scared. The mechanical crab is acting a little strange. Oh, he's so I love him. Something's approaching. <gasps> so that's it. Crocodiles. Now that the ley line energy has stabilized, the monsters that had left are starting to return. Okay. Get rid of them quickly. Don't let them get close to the purification device. Wait, but we want them back, don't we? The crocodiles are so cute. Oh, reveal thyself. Huh. oh that was easy. All right, they're dead. <laughs> Fishel took care of them. Eugene, he's going back to his family. Hey, where are you? Wait for us. Let's hurry and keep up. That logic was, oh, wow, the purification is working. The, uh, the animals that used to live here are now coming back. Kill them. Why would I want to kill them? Are we trying to save the land? Help. What the hell is that? Oh. Hello? I got you. Hold on. Falling leaves adorn my nights. Run with nature. Hold the line. Sword, refuge. I'll uproot you. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> spare me. Please spare me. We're not going to kill you, bro. Hey, are you okay? These injuries are superficial. Don't move. I'll patch you up. He literally just said, stop crying. You're fine. <laughs> I love him. Who are you all? What happened to those mechanical monsters? We killed them. Who are you? Why are you here? Don't worry. We took care of them. Oh, good. <laughs> There's our boy Eugene walking in. Uh, it's a monster. <laughs> hurry, attack it. No, he's fine. He's cool. He's... He's chill like that, dude. Uh, Krabby here isn't a bad guy. That's what we named him? Krabby? Paimon, it's Eugene. Please respect him. It heard you shouting for help and brought us here to rescue you. It's faking it. It has to be. Maybe it's going to partner up with the other mechanical monsters and kill me. No, it's good. Do you know what's inside the forest? No, oh, well, we're trying it's to figure it out. It's, it's all crawling with mechanical freaks. Mike, shut up. <laughs> yes. I just came here to pick herbs, but I accidentally went to the contaminated region and almost died. Be careful. 
These mechanical life forms are up to no good. It'd be best if you stayed far, far away from them. Dude, he's a good voice actor. Uh, no wonder the Academia wanted to completely ban the existence of mechanical life forms. Uh, those things should be annihilated. Hey, 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 they have feelings, bro. Uh, are you okay? Dude, he hates robots. Ooh, yeah. His inarticulate speech and bodily tremors indicate psyche disruption. He's been inside the contaminated region for too long. Are you Batman all of us? Dude, Tainari's Batman at this point. We've purified the ley line energy over there. Follow this path out and you'll soon see the village. At that point, someone will bring him to Kale for help. I already prepared medication that will return him to normal. It looks like it's... Hmm. So it wants a treat. Good job and want a part as your reward? This is so fun. It's so hard to understand. All right, regardless of what you're thinking, you did some real good this time. That's why I'll give you another mechanical part. Need any help with it? I don't know why, but I love him. I love him so much. Guess not. Well, make sure to hang on to it. <sighs> what was going through your owner's mind when he made you, I wonder? You're like a giant mechanical crab on the outside and a fluffy little hamster on the inside. He just wanted a real crab like Geppetto and his son. He just wanted to make a real crab pet, you know, I, no more puppets. And Ugh. also, how do you Genshin feel Geppetto. about that person saying that you're as evil as the other mechanical life forms? No, he's not evil. He's so cute. He's like a little puppy. Okay, it definitely doesn't understand you. It does. It seems like it possesses limited understanding only towards matters related to mechanical components. It, it hears what it wants to Help hear. Help others to get parts. That's probably its thought process. As for why it, or rather its owner, is collecting so many components, I'm not sure. Getting late. So let's set up camp for the night. We'll explore further tomorrow. Uh. After a night's rest. Let's set up camp here. It's a good spot. Oh, any particular reason? <sighs> no. This place is perfect to put up a big tent. We can also set up a cooking pot and cook tons of delicious food. A very Paimon reason. She said food. You're not wrong, but the primary reason for choosing this place is because its higher elevation keeps us away from the water vapor below. Rainforests are very wet. You should always be careful when spending the night in damp places. For the next tasks at hand, let's divide and conquer. Okay. I'll set up the tent. You'll be in charge of making the fire. And Paimon will forage for edibles nearby. Oh, we're getting edibles? It's going to be a good night. Leave it to Paimon. Dude, Leave what happens in Sumeru stays in Sumeru, am I right? I'm not expecting that much. Just do what you can. That's right. You can use rushes to start a fire in the wilderness. Their pits are relatively dry and can be readily set aflame. The downside is that they produce a lot of smoke. Traveler, Tainari, Paimon couldn't mind any food. Chat, I would bet you a hundred million dollars that she was either too lazy or too oblivious to the food that was there. You had one job. There were all sort of weird looking mushrooms, but Paimon didn't know which ones were edible. Paimon also saw wild berries on the ground, and Paimon was going to fly over and pick them up, but the dead leaves on top suddenly started moving. It freaked Paimon out. You had one job. Those were probably dead leaf butterflies. They camouflage as dead leaves to evade predators. My guess is that they mistook you for a bird when you flew over, so they fled. Mm. Little did they know that you were more scared than they were. Never mind. The tent's up, so you two go rest. I'll forage for food. Dude, Tainari's gonna go get food. He's be like, stupid Paimon. Now I have to do all the work, you lazy, stupid Paimon. You found some already. He got us food? Oh, Eugene. I love you. Paimon understands it this time. It wants mechanical parts again. Sorry. No part this time. Oh, no. He's angry. Oh, what a cutie, dude. 
That task wasn't important enough. <laughs> if every little thing resulted in a reward, then it might start to take advantage of the system. I'll note little things like this and give a cumulative reward at a later time. Are you running low on parts? Um, that is one reason. He's running low on parts. It looks really sad. <sighs> After some further thought, it might come up with some weird misunderstanding if I don't give it something. All right, here's another for you. Ah, we broke him. <gasps> the way he just I'm like perked up, dude. Dinner. We'll take shifts on lookout duty tonight. You two can sleep first. I'll wake you up later. We need lookouts? Yes. Yeah, have you... Pa Paimon, have you not been paying attention? Even though most animals fled because of the ley lines, we can't completely let down our guard. Exactly. It's settled then. I'll set up some pest repelling devices so poisonous insects don't come crawling into the tent. Oh my god, thank you. Have a good night. Not too good, though. Why you say it like that? Not too good, though. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tainari. Uh, go into the tent and rest. Paimon's getting sleepy. Uh, is this because of the ley lines? Been a while since we camped outside like this. <laughs> this feels like when we just started adventuring together. Oh, two machos. Thank you, Hottie, for the two machos. Hmm? You're awake earlier than I expected. Did you sleep well? Very That's well. That's good. I was worried that you two wouldn't be able to sleep, so I specially used two of my homemade incenses. Don't worry. They're made from all natural ingredients. They have a light fragrance and aren't harmful to the body. Speaking of which, have you seen the crab? No, where did he go? He's scampering around over there just now, but I don't know where it went. Are you wary of so it? So you can tell. My suspicion is less towards the crab and more directed to its unrevealed owner. Yeah, that's what you need to figure out. An effluence of this magnitude occurred without any warning. Someone probably disrupted the natural flow of the ley lines. Until we fully understand the situation, take extra caution. The academia has banned mechanical life form research for years, so the origin of these creatures is very suspect. Topics related to mechanical life forms were popular in the Spontama for a time. Some of my juniors had also thrown themselves into such research. They proposed an intriguing idea use our knowledge to create a new and practical life form that could help humanity conquer nature. Okay. However, no matter which modules or parts are installed, a machine is innately a construct that receives and executes commands. They can never possess self-awareness like us or other living organisms. In their pursuit to discover the differences between mechanical and biological life forms, zealous researchers performed unregulated vivisections and other absurdly cruel experiments on animals. Oh. Research on mechanical life forms was thus banned. I see. The irony is that the researchers became even more impetuous afterward. Who knows? Maybe this subject will be unbanned in a few years. Do you not like this area of research? Hmm. That's a difficult question to answer. I'm interested in the topic of mechanical life, but I don't like the researchers' attitudes. Because the conquest of nature is bad. It's just my personal opinion. My ancestors and the Veluka Shuna of the desert coexisted together and supported one another. Mm -hmm. The blood of my people were born from this symbiotic relationship. So to me, all life is important. To understand life, you must first respect it. Life is not an expendable commodity, and knowledge should not be wielded like a scepter. These are the points of contention I have with some researchers, and why I left the academia. Oh, okay. By placing yourself above other life forms, what kind of results do you expect to get from researching pure life with impure intentions? I understand what you mean. Really? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Coffee? Did you prepare this for us? There is no way Eugene just made us coffee. Right. Seeing that you're working so hard to help out, I'll give you another part. I'm not planning on using it. Many of your own parts are critically degraded, and you're running low on power. He's like, I know, I know. All right, suit yourself. Oh, and thanks for the coffee, but I'm about to go to sleep. Leave it with him. 
The Night Watch is yours. Stay safe. Sorry. Paimon slept through the entire night. <sighs> Your punishment is solo watch duty. <laughs> Don't worry. Paimon will be sure to stay awake next time. No, she won't. Good morning, Traveler and Paimon. Mm, quick question. Do you feel off at all? Uh, I'm a little dizzy. Mm, me too. The farther in we go, the closer we get to the source of the ley line effluence. We'll be heading out earlier today. I'll take down the tent. Is all there right. something we can do? Extinguish our fire so we don't set the entire forest aflame. Also, Bet, that's retrieve important. the pest repelling devices from last night. We don't want to affect the ecosystem here. Got it! Paimon will take care of the fire! Bet we can do that. Right. It's about time to head out. As we go further in, we may encounter more berserk machines. The effects of the ley lines will also increase. If you're struggling, it would be wise to avoid conflict. Try to conserve as much energy as possible until we reach the source of the contamination. Okay. As I thought, the closer we get to the contamination source, the more mechanical monsters that appear. Chad, how much longer do we have of this quest? Because I just realized it's already three, dude. Entrown. Does he not sniff butts? It stopped here. Another flower. Upon closer inspection, the plants here are really different. Leyline energies are also stronger here. This may be the place we've been looking for. Ready yourselves. We're going in. Is this where the owner is? <gasps> okay. There's a ton of mechanical monsters here. Do this. Looks like there's no way to sneak by. I don't want your Let's trial one. I want mine. Okay, whatever. Hey! Into the wind. I want mine. I don't want the trial. Uh, the trial one. Dang it. All right, you assholes. What is this? Uh, I've never seen a machine like this before. Ley line energy is spilling out from here. This device. It's extracting energy from the ley lines without end. Who in the world would do this without Whoa. considering the consequences? The ley lines won't be able to repair themselves if their flow is perpetually disrupted like this. Yeah. Terrible. Who made it? it? We have to destroy it. I'm starting to get dizzy. Standing here is equivalent to being directly showered in ley line energy, which may cause irreversible damage to your body. Okay. Come on and get out of here. I'll see if I can find a way to turn this thing off. No. You're also vulnerable to the ley lines, right? We're staying. We can't leave you here by yourself. Yeah, we can't back out. Then let's look for it together. If there is no control unit here, then there must be a trap door somewhere. But it's probably over there. Eugene's telling us to go over there. I love him. You know where it is? Hey, we it. Oh, there's a bridge. It'll only show up if you step <gasps> Be careful. Wait, who's that guy? Watch your step. Who's Who are you? His body is cold. Is he dead? It's emaciated, and his eyes are sunken, likely from chronic malnourishment and stress. He collapsed and never got back up. What exactly happened here? Oh, almost forgot about you. Here, this is the last one. And why did he bring us here? What is it doing? I'm not sure. Judging by this room's layout, this place was a laboratory. Right. We should find a repository of research documents if we keep going. The file room will definitely give us some clues, so let's go take a look. Maybe we can piece together Stalin what happened. Stalin, thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you. Okay, let's figure this out, chat. Did you two find anything? There are a lot of lab notes, but it would take way too long to read through them all. Mm-hmm. 
I found a tape recording used for an experiment, and based on its serial number, it's from two years ago. Serial? How do you know how to read that? Whatever. Tape recording? Yes, the Spontama created a device that visually records experiments and consolidates the final production into a tape. However, these devices are expensive to make and aren't entirely stable. That's why they are only used in some laboratories and do not see wider usage. Come on, let's watch it. Okay. On, let me figure out how to play the tape. There. Tainari trying to figure out how to okay, use a VCR, dude. After inserting the tape, the projector gradually begins to display. Kakata? Kakata? Seriously, I look away for one second and you're gone? That's his name, Karkata? <gasps> I like Eugene better, but okay, Karkata. There you are. Look here. This is our new home. I, Abatui, will unleash my talents here and amaze those ancient fossils at the academia. Abatui. That's the guy's name. Oh, you're also quite happy. Karkata, do you know what we're about to do? <laughs> yes, I thought not. Listen up, Karkata. I'm going to make a mechanical life form that can be mass produced. The technology will be unlike anything else that exists. I'll use mechanical organs, and electric currents will course through them like blood. A steel cast heart that will beat forever, and a brain of myriad components that can think like mine. Inspiration hmm. from the ruins and the research that the academia had banned. I hope everything can start anew from this place. When you can understand our language and live among us, you will no longer be a boring machine, but a truly living being. Hey, don't tell Kakarot that he's a boring machine. It's fine. You will understand. One day, you will understand me. Oh, the recording ends there. Karkata is the mechanical crab, right? Yes. This is this is Pinocchio. Baba Booey is Geppetto. And that researcher named Abatui said he wanted to prove something to the academia? Banned research. I remember now. I had a junior researcher named Abatui. He was expelled from the academia for researching mechanical life forms. Well, I highly doubt more than one family would name their child Abatui. So it's probably the same guy. Junior researcher? Yeah? Well, what's wrong? Nothing. Paimon was just wondering, doesn't Abatui look older than you? He is, but academic progression isn't tied to age. I finished my studies a while ago, so subsequent students generally considered me as their senior. I'm just so smart that I graduated when I was in seventh grade. Oh. Of course, age can be an issue. For a while, people always dragged me into pictures. I felt like some kind of animal on display. <clears throat> uh, that isn't important. Let's was he go bullied? See if we can find other tape recordings. Look, look! Paimon found another tape! A date is written on it. Let Paimon see. Oh, it's from a half a year ago! How are you guys reading these serial numbers? That's quite the time gap. I wonder what happened in between. All right, let's see what this one is. It's rare that you malfunction because of an operational error. Seems that making coffee is still somewhat difficult for you. Or is there an issue with my set parameters? All right, there you go. Water entered the keela and caused it to short circuit, so it couldn't receive signals from the ganglion. Look at me, talking to you like this. You can't understand me anyway, can you? It's fine. I swapped in some new parts, so you should be all right now. Try moving around. Everything in working order? I was gonna say, Lana. He taught him how to make coffee. Be more careful next time. We're tight on money right now, so we don't have a lot of parts or power to spare. I'm glad. Karkata, did you know? Yesterday, I dreamed that you could talk. Aren't the bunch at the academia always saying things like, Mechanical intelligence is just an extension of statistics. They were blown away when they saw us talking with each other. Too bad it was just a dream. Forget oh. holding a conversation with me. You're so simple that you probably wouldn't even notice if I died. Never mind. I should probably be worrying about next month's power. What? 
After Abatui left the academia, everyone lost contact with him. I thought he was so despondent that he gave up on researching mechanical life forms. Instead, he had holed up here and continued his experiments. Paimon doesn't feel like he's a bad person. He even changed out Karkata's broken parts. Yeah. Why would he mess with ley lines? He mentions something about power. I'm trying not to think if he's dead or not. I don't think he's dead. He can't be dead. Hmm. Let's keep looking around. Okay. But if he is dead, that means that Eugene did notice. I hope he's not dead. He seems like a go. nice fellow. Following the serial numbers, the next recording should be here. The writing is sloppy. Perhaps his state of mind had changed. There's this is the last an one. Dated tape in the wrong spot. Doesn't seem like Abatui put it there. Maybe Karkata helped him with sorting. Hmm. It's hard to say. Hmm. These are the last two tape recordings. Let's watch them. All right, let's see. Sorry, Karkata. I was just thinking about something. Today might become a special day. He sounds very sick. In my recent experiments, I successfully gave you a living being's instincts. When you're low on power, or if one of your parts is damaged, you will prioritize your survival command and proactively recharge or replace your parts. That is a very dangerous thing. And today, I did something even more dangerous. I've officially activated the third generation ley line extractor. The ley lines will serve as our power source from now on. Conducting research on mechanical life forms requires a large amount of power. Even if I scrimped and saved, the more I have wouldn't last for long. Yeah, the voice acting is so good. I'm also getting tired, Karkata. I don't know what's driving me to continue with this research anymore. Huh? Yana, think of the lurk, I appreciate you. They say that even if it simulates the operation of a living creature's organs, a machine is still an ice cold tool. I want to prove them wrong. I want to turn you into a living, breathing, and talking being. Pinocchio. I'm not talking about anything cheerful, Karkata. Modules for language, emotion, and movement. I've been working my absolute hardest to augment and refine your functionalities, but I've never seen an effective response. You are my finest success, but even you can't understand me. All you can do is execute limited responses based on preset commands or keywords. Karkata, I wish you could speak to me, even just once. <sighs> yes, you cannot understand me, so you cannot answer me either. It is what it is. In a few days, I'll sell the failed ley line extractor for some more and continue my experiments. Life goes on, and I have to as well. I don't have any other choice. We have one more tape. This is no. If I place another two control modules here to simulate the brain's thalamus. Oh, of course my heart decides to act up now. Why did I cut medication from our expenses? Karkata, come help me. Strange. I feel weak. Oh no, I have to shut down the extractor. Shut it off. <coughs> if we let them recharge indefinitely, they'll go out of control. Right. I never input a command to shut down the extractor, so you don't understand what I'm saying. In the end, it's just like the academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research... Was there any point to it at all? He is, he understands him. He's talking. I'm sorry, Kakata. In the end, I still wasn't able to turn you into a true mechanical life form. Oh, he died. 
So the ley line effluence was an accident. After Abatui's unexpected death, the mechanical monsters were driven by their instincts and continuously drew out power from the ley line extractor. This eventually resulted in severe damage to the ley lines. That was sad, bro. Paimon understands. Then why didn't Karkata go haywire like the other machines? Because Karkata is different from the other machines. Mm -hmm. Structures similar to living organisms, the ability to cry and laugh, and capacity for independent thought. To Abatui, only a machine with these features could be considered a mechanical life form. Mm -hmm. Perhaps only by building such a machine could he have the academia acknowledge his protracted research. But if he had slowed down and saw Karkata as a friend instead of an experimental product, he would have noticed. Karkata can't speak. And yet it cares about Abatui far more than it does about itself. Oh. What does that mean? You'll see in a bit. But before that, we have a more urgent task at hand. First, let's find the control unit for the ley line extractor and All shut right. it down. Yeah, let's shut it down. Eugene. Good boy, Eugene. Hey, where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I gotta make sure I don't Keep fall. Oh. Okay, Keep go up. this way. Dude, yeah, they... Ah! These domains are great. They're all so beautiful. Ah! Oh my god, please don't fall, Tainari. Oh, this is Lois cool. Is the final room. The control unit is likely in there. The land's here. Hmm. Wanna try jumping down? Oh, uh, we already did. I gotta figure this out. <laughs> Can't see. Ah! I wish I was using mine. I don't want to use their Tainari, dude. Oh, wrong button. That. Let's nip that in the butt. As one with wind and cloud. Let's go. One with nature. Mirror. Like that. One with the forest. One with the forest. Here, have this. Can't see. Easy peasy. Did it. Oh, my heart. I know. Can't wipe them when there's a this Niagara Falls. Oh, my God, please. I just did all the quests. I'm finally done. Yo, let's go. How'd you like them? All right. This should be the control Once unit. Once we turn it off, the ley line extractor should also shut down. Bet. Well, let's shut it down. Without an external force damaging the ley lines, they should start to slowly repair themselves. Let's go. That's awesome. Oh, but I bet you two are more worried about Karkata. Let's head back. Please, I need to figure out what's happening with Eugene, bro. Oh my god. Chills, bro. That's so sad. <sighs> so, Kark 
Kata has been collecting parts because it thinks doing so will fix its owner? Oh, my God. That's why? Bro, that's why he was doing all the good things to collect. Dude, that's fucking sad. Karkata is unable to understand the concept of death. However, it probably remembers when Abatui replaced its parts when it malfunctioned, and how that restored it to an operational state. Yeah. It's true that Karkata isn't able to think or understand many topics, but it is like a small child that imitates what adults do. So that's why it kept stealing mechanical parts. But it can't repair its owner, no matter how hard it tries. Yes, but the important thing is that it formed the thought of wanting to repair Abatui. No one knows how this thought came to be, but it has even suppressed the instincts that Abatui had installed. If it really is as we've predicted, this research truly will make waves in the academia. It might have been possible to achieve this with ancient technology, but no one has been able to do the same with modern tools. Karkata? Karkata? Can we keep him? We need to give him. We need to give him a home. Can you hear Paimon? He's so Paimon sad. Says you're awesome. It reached its limit. It hasn't recharged this entire time. Nor has it replaced its severely damaged parts. No! 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 Uh-uh! You cannot know. Eugene better not die, dude. It's a miracle that it managed to hang on for so long. <laughs> no, I can't go through this emotional pain anymore. Fuck. I'm going to confirm that the ley line extractor has shut down. Come with me. Let them be alone for a while. Okay. For Eugene. The ley line extractor has ceased operations. Traces of ley line energy are still in the atmosphere, but the effluence's source has been stopped. The purification devices will handle the rest. Moving on, those affected by the ley lines need immediate care. We'll put up an announcement on the bulletin board about the dangers of entering the contaminated region and for symptomatic individuals to find Kale. What about Karkata? According to the academia's policies, we need to bring everything back. But they won't treat him right. Research materials related to mechanical life forms will be destroyed. And Karkata will be disassembled and sealed away. No! What the heck? You two should return first. I'll take care of things here. No! Although we've I'm taking him back to my the teapot. The ley line energy in the air exceeds normal values. Your bodies won't be able to hold up if you continue to stay here. What? Listen, the traveler hasn't rested very well, right? Also, it'll take some time to pack up all the research documents. You're not familiar with this research after all, so you won't be of much use here. Tell the Adventurer's Guild that the incident has been resolved, and then get some sleep. We can discuss matters tomorrow. Okay. Oh, and don't talk about Abatui. The fewer that know about mechanical life form research, the better. Bet. All right. Then let's go back to Catherine. Don't disassemble Eugene, though. Anyway. So the contaminated region turned out to be a ley line effluence deep in the forest. Things are already getting back to normal. I see. Thank you for your hard work. Once the excess ley line energy dissipates from the air, we should be able to make an announcement for residents to resume their normal activities. Nice. This is the stipulated reward. Please accept it. Primos, Mora? Is Karkata going to be sent back to the academia? I think so. It's already damaged, but Paimon feels sad thinking about it getting disassembled. Me too. Oh, then how about we find Tainari tomorrow and ask him not to do that? Paimon really wants to go right now, but Tainari said that we would discuss matters tomorrow. We'll probably make him mad if we go now, huh? Probably. All right then, we'll find Tainari tomorrow and tell him not to disassemble Karkata. Tainari! Shh, keep your voice down. The Lilac Daphne, a Daphne of the genus Themeliaceae, has a strong anti-convulsant effect, can be made into an anesthetic powder. Extrapolating from these two data sets, it would be particularly potent against Piscine species. Uh-huh. Hey, make sure you're getting all this down. We, 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 we. <laughs> you 
Kakata? Let's go. Kakata? Oh, I thought I told you all to keep your voices low. Plants aren't afraid of noise, but your shouting is making my ears ring. You didn't disassemble Kakata? Why would I do that? Well, because yesterday you were hinting at that. But According to the Academia's policies... So that's why you two barged in like barbarians at this hour. Fine. I suppose I wasn't clear enough about this yesterday. No, you weren't, Tainari. And call me a bi barbarian again. And explain what that means. But I will put you in the ground. What I meant was, according to the Academia's policies, all products of research must be destroyed. That's why we can't let the Academia discover that place. Oh. Anyway, the first thing I did was repair Karkata. During my time at the Academia, I took an elective course at the Spantama. Who knew it would prove useful one day? We then buried Abatui together. After organizing the research oh, materials, sad. I kept some as a souvenir. Most of it was burned to hide the evidence. I'm not with the Academia. So what do their policies have to do with me? Loopholes! On the other hand, I am the forest watcher of the Avidya Forest. I have a duty to protect all life in the forest. Let's go. Good guy, Tainari, all dude. All life brought forth in this world has meaning. And Karkata is no exception. If it exists, then it shouldn't be carelessly abandoned or destroyed. Exactly. <laughs> That's great! Look how happy he is over there, dude. Wait. You just said life form. You recognize Karkata as a true living being now? The possibility exists, is all. It's hard to explain Karkata's efforts to repair Abatui. Abatui only left behind a small portion of his research. Do you think we'll get to a point where we have, I mean, we have Catherine, right? But like more better relationships with like robots and stuff in the future of Genshin? That would be sick. Maybe a conflict between all those commands resulted in this sort of behavior. From a more rigorous perspective, it is impossible to conclude that Karkata is a real life form. But the possibility exists. I am willing to believe in that. By the way, I'm Aww. not interested in continuing research on this subject. I'm just letting it hang out here because this place is relatively secluded. Sure. But as things stand now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it my research assistant. At the very Will we least, see more, Eugene? Experiments. What do you think? <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> And that's the Tainari quest. Yo, what did you guys think? I absolutely loved it. That was one of the better quests. I'm going to be honest with you. Definitely one of the better quests in Genshin. I loved it. Now I see. Now I know why you guys said that you cried and stuff. 